When I posted this video in the Facebook group a little while ago, I did get a message wondering how I had made this guy on the right without the logo. And so it's been a little while, but I was, I, I had ideas to just show how you can change some of the actions just using some of the facial expressions rotation and a lot of uh, and other things so I have a few that I thought I would show you in the first one I can't show that video on YouTube because it would have copyright for the music but it is on the Facebook group but here all I did was here I have the same character they both have sad first then catching something and then I did just change this to idle but let me put that back on sad um, just so that it's the same. I didn't mean to not change that back. So they have the same actions. They're both sad. Then they're catching something. And you can see that Danny starts to smile. And then this Danny is not. And that's because on him, I changed the facial expression to sad. So right here, you click on the title, the name of the action, and you can change the expression. And I have a tutorial on that. It was before we had Danny join us in Create Studio. I can change this one to sad as well. And you can see that sad, but I am going to leave it on the natural expression, which is, the same is happy, but I'm going to put none, which is what it was. And the reason I kind of liked this is because with the rotation, he's kind of looking at his mom and the video was him saying he was doing something wrong. So it kind of, he's looking up at mom and he's kind of throwing his hands up and you can see that it gives a different impression with the facial expression and the rotation, if I still had him rotated forward, that would still work in some ways, but he's not looking at mom. So now he is looking at mom and throwing his hands up. And so I turned him a little bit too much. So let me just cancel what I did so that he stays where he was. And he's just, and now he's shaking his head. How did I get him without anything in his hand? And this I just have when I go to customize and then I go to logo. This is for object. So the object in his hand and I just have a transparent. You can notice I have two. I did this one and if you can see way up here in the corner, there's still a blue item. So when I used that, it showed on the video. I don't think we can see it this close up, but I just made another one. And if you use that as the replacement image, then it just looks like he's throwing his hands up. Like, I don't know, mom, I don't know what I'm doing. So anyways, that's one way you can kind of change the actions and kind of create something new. This also, I've done it in a couple other ones. Um, one of them was when I had how to have sitting with an action so that I have two tutorials on that and I did something similar. And the second one, I noticed that, well, here I, I was going to comment that the idle, when you have them idling for a long time, it kind of starts to look a little weird because they don't move their hands. They don't really move. Um, but I also noticed when I did that, that I used different actions when Lanka was sitting and I had her doing some listening. And this way, this one is kind of looking a little bit more. She could probably be turned. I think I must have moved them a little bit because it did look more like they were looking at each other a lot before. Um, but now she's moving a little bit, but you're not seeing the action of the talking. If I turned her a little bit, you would, but you can certainly do this as well. 
And it just allows you to have a little bit more action when you may want them to be idle. So I'm going to play this from here. So you can just use another action. And here you can kind of see her mouth move a little bit. And that's why I had her turned a little bit more, just so it didn't look like she was talking. You could put, perhaps, let's see how talking would look. Now she's turned a little bit more. So I might rotate her that way. And let's see. It would look like she's talking because she's moving a little bit more, but you could definitely look. I think I used idea on one of them in that video. And now you see her pointing up, but if I rotate her a little bit, it could look like she's just pointing. Oh, that kind of looks like she's tapping her chins thinking. But that's just another idea you can do. This one I just did as a last minute thing. And personally, when I changed the facial expression for Danny, which one's that one? So this one is just the natural one without any changes. This one, I put a sad face. And for some reason, when I looked at it, he's looking, this one looks like a wave, but with the facial expression, he's kind of looks like he's shaking his hand in a no, no, no kind of fearful way. And then I just animated him to fall. <laughs> so he wasn't flying very well. Poor Danny. Um, and all I did for that one, I'll do it with this, is I just added, let me just delete that animation and show you. So all I did with that is I added, I'll show you, position, scale, and character view. So I will add position, scale, character view. Then I bring my second keyframe to wherever I want it to go. And then what I did is I clicked on rotate and I just kind of spun them around a little bit. I don't know, I'm doing it kind of messy. I want to move him down a little, so I have to turn off rotate, move him down. And as you can see here, I made him smaller. So I can scale him down. Now he's getting hidden, so I'm going to move him up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. The spinning, I didn't do the spinning too well on that, so let's rotate him a little bit more. Let me turn off the rotate and let's see if he spins around a little bit. He didn't. Did I mess that up? Let's look. No, I do have character view rotation. Let's spin him around a little. Oh, so let me show you because this is why it's not working. I knew I didn't need rotation. I wonder if anyone knows what I did wrong there because I made the mistake. I didn't go to the end keyframe and do that rotation. So I need to spin him around a little bit. Now he's going to spin. What I did before is I was in the middle of the action, in the middle of the keyframes, and when I spun him, all it did was change the original, um, original position. So I see how he's a little off now. He's not in the same starting position as the other Danny. Now he's spinning. You have to make sure you're on the end keyframe so it tells it what to do by the time it's at the end. So as always, I make mistakes and <laughs> I leave them in because they will help you if you make the same mistake. So just play around with the characters, play around with the facial expressions, like with this Danny and making him sad. Here, 
play around with the different rotation and you can kind of get a different feel for the action that might fit what you're trying to convey in your video. I hope this gave you some ideas.